It's chat time with Chunk and Cucumber and your host, Dino. What's up? Well, this is weird. Look at ah. you. Ow! I don't know if I like this anymore. Well, just, it was a friendly pain. Oh, it's a friendly. Oh, okay, okay. Friendly. Hey! Yeah. Do you experience pain differently? It's I might. based on intent. I don't know. It's been a long time since I've had a lot of social interaction. Well, that's true. Is this yeah. a lot? This is a lot this for you. This is a lot for me. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to chat time, everybody. Uh, I'm your host, Dino, and with me is Cucumber. What's up? Right next to me. That's right. Which is freaking weird. Uh, uh, Chunk's here too. He's just um, a little sleepy. We're letting him nap a bit longer, but that's okay. Oh boy, look at that! Oh wow! <laughs> I guess he's been <laughs> ejected. I guess so. It might just be us today. That's okay. <laughs> We're because oh man, we look at this closer. camera work. This is nice. Wow! Look at that. I think I can... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Also, good morning, Kate. How's it going? Yes, good morning. Sorry, we got to start. Good morning, guys. <laughs> With me is Kate. With us is Kate today. Kate Harrow from Bow and Harrow Workshop. Yeah. Um, uh, Kate's a good friend uh, that I worked with at uh, uh, at, at a theme park at Disneyland. Whatever. Oh, yes. Yeah. Which one? Whatever. Yeah. You know, yeah. So, uh, but we worked with, we worked together for a bit, and uh, and now she makes incredibly cool things with wood and other stuff. Uh, and yeah, we'll talk about that. Nice. Too. Good. Yeah, exactly. Uh, good morning to everybody in the chat. Uh, I see a lot of you here today. Chris L, we're glad you can make it. Um, uh, for those of you that are watching on volume, if anybody's watching, I can't tell. Uh, yeah, three people on volume, which means I think it's us. Sweet. Uh, <laughs> but uh, for those of you on uh, YouTube, welcome. Um, tell your friends. Uh, share, share the video if you like. Get well, some more people to hang out with us. Uh, if you have any questions uh, for somebody who works with wood, start thinking of them now. But hey, first. Yo. But first. Okay. We're going to go into what we always start with, which is, but how do you feel? But how do you feel? <laughs> uh, but how do you feel is where we discuss how we're feeling today using a certain category. And today yeah. uh, is National Eat Your Vegetables Day. So today we will describe how we're feeling. If you know what I mean. Hey, cucumber, nice to meet you. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your hand. Yeah. What's that? Ah, whoa, hey, what is that what I meant? <laughs> is that eat your vegetables? Yeah, I'm, I'm a dirty boy, okay? Oh, Let's I see, gotcha, forward. gotcha. It was a dick joke. Anyways, um... <laughs> Not necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, describe how you're feeling using vegetables today. So which okay. vegetable are you feeling? Or group of vegetables? I don't care. Hmm. Take it however you like. Uh, yeah. Either of you have an answer already? Yes. Yes, go for it. I, I feel like asparagus. Because I am, I am crisp, I am green, I am uh, delicious, but, you know, after a while, it's like, a, if you, so it's easy to, like, overdo, mm -hmm. uh, and it also uh, almost immediately makes you feel a little funky afterward. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. <laughs> um, what about you, Kay? Do you have an uh, answer? Such a better answer than what I had. <laughs> There's no judgment. That's what either way works. <laughs> Um, yeah, wow. uh, wow, I, uh, I, I was feeling like broccoli, Ooh. um, but cooked, but cooked broccoli, of not, not raw broccoli, um, oh. wow. because, again, again, crisp, because not, not the kind of broccoli that you, that you just steam, okay. the kind of broccoli that, that you cook to a crisp. Oh, like fr because, like sautéed broccoli. Like, yeah, like sautéed broccoli. Okay. Because it's a, it's a beautiful day out, you know, and I and I feel energized, and I feel like, like like we're gonna get after it today, and that's kind of that's that's kind of what like that delicious like, you know, well cooked broccoli makes me feel. I love that. You're gonna get after it today. I like that. Yeah. We should probably get after it too, cucumber. We're stuck inside. No, I'm asparagus. I've committed. That's fair. Okay. <laughs> Um, God, what am I feeling like? Um, I, you know, I came up with this prompt. Do you think I would have thought about it a little bit more? Uh -huh. Um, don't judge me. Uh, I'm just agreeing with you. <laughs> uh, I feel, okay. I feel like, I feel like baby carrots hmm. because you're not real. 
Yes. <laughs> You're a manufacturer. manufacturer. Of yes, like, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Sorry, please continue. <laughs> I feel like baby carrots because I, um, I, what you see is not natural. I didn't wake up this way. I had to get myself awake oh. an hour before coming here. He flocks Just, his beard on every morning. Yes, it's this is all <laughs> fake. It, it, it comes off if I pull hard yeah, enough. Yeah. Um, it comes out of a can. It's a lot of spirit gum. Yep. Uh, and <laughs> but uh, but yeah, no, like I I, I feel like. I'm really slow in the morning, so this morning it took me a lot longer. I woke up earlier than I thought I would, and I was still kind of running late. And I, I just, it, I just feel like it, it's, it's. There, I look good. They like car baby carrots taste good. They're good, but you know, like this isn't how it's normally. Like they put right. effort into this. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's how I'm feeling. Uh, what uh, Robert says, me too. Ugh. <laughs> Hi, Robert. <laughs> oh, hey. Hold on a second. There are people in the volume chat. What's up, oh, Cindy the Yummy Geek? How's oh, it going? Oh, I am not in the right volume chat, I guess. Thank you for the amps. Thank you for the amps. Pew, pew, pew. Um, let's see if this works. There we go. Hi, welcome. Uh, <laughs> you Baby not carrots, you're caught up. So, um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, Cucumber's Ryan. The best. Oh, Ryan, okay. where are you? What do you want? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like that. Um, uh, Ryan, what about you? What are you feeling today? Uh, uh, did you not think I was going to ask you? No. <laughs> no, I did not. Um, what what vegetable do I feel like? Yes. <laughs> Welcome mm, to the show. Uh, like a chickpea. Okay. Because you you can be used in so many different things, and it can be. Uh, Turned into so many different things and adapted and tastes yeah. good no matter how yeah, you use it. Your juice is an egg substitute. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want that sentence to ever follow Ryan talking ever again. <laughs> Spitting Your facts. juice is an mm. egg substitute. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, let's move on quickly from that statement. And... Uh, <laughs> Welcome, Kate Harrow! Yay! <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Kate, um, Kate, who, who are you? What do you do? What, um... <laughs> how, which sock do you put on first in the morning? And There is a right answer. Oh. There, and, uh... What, and there's uh, a left answer, too. <laughs> <laughs> waka waka! Yeah! It's that kind of morning. <laughs> I can smack you yeah. now if you tell a bad joke. I can you know? bite you now. Let's oh, go. That's a good point. No. <laughs> He's stronger than he looks. Uh, you're also very skinny, so. Thank you. <laughs> um, so, uh, Kate, like I said, who are you? What do you do? Yeah. The, the sock. Well, I definitely, I definitely start with my right sock in the morning. That's, That's fair. You know, mm -hmm. Let's start there. That's but, nice. um, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, my name's Kate. Uh, I am a woodworker, um, or a maker, you know, is probably a more accurate term. Um, you know, <laughs> I, uh, I definitely focus a lot on woodworking, but I also work with resin. I know how to weld. Um, you know, I make stuff out of all kinds of things. So, um, my shop is called Bow and Harrow Workshop and not Woodshop. For a specific reason, um, there's so much more. There's so much more to it, you know. <laughs> I, I'm I'm not I'm not a one trick pony, as it were. Um, <laughs> yeah, I uh, I started uh, I started out making stuff um, from doing uh, from doing theater and building scenery, and um, and I've I've always been a tinkerer, and you know stealing my dad's hammers to fix the neighbor's fence kind of kid, you know, at like <laughs> nine years old, you know? Uh, yeah. And, um, and yeah, I, I got into theater and was building scenery. And then um, as I, as I moved up and uh, out of, out of the building scenery part and into the behind a desk, you know, managing part, I really missed getting my hands dirty. So I started building stuff on the side and now that's my full-time job again. So it kind of came full circle. Um, and and I love it. I, I love waking up every morning and going out to my shop and, and getting my hands dirty and, and coming back in covered in sawdust and 
resin shavings and whatever else. Yeah. So, so yeah, that's that's my life. That's what I do. On that's a awesome. scale of one to ten, how much do you like extruded foam? Hmm. I've been I've been very excited about it recently. I finally saw it like right up close. I was like, I want to just do that every day for no reason. I just want to watch it. Go yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, extr extruded foam is pretty darn awesome. And can be used for, like, <laughs> anything. Right? It's so cool. Like, yeah. I, I love having I, a show I, where we talk to ner people that are nerdy about everything. Yeah. Because we have sentences like that. Extruded foam is awesome. It is awesome. <laughs> you don't even know. I don't even know. What's, what's amazing about foam too is that like foam prop making is is incredible like if you if you watch like any tv i don't know if you watch any movie or tv show you know all that stuff that looks really cool and detailed and stuff you're like half of that's foam you know that's just painted with rub and buff and you know spray paint yeah and this looks Dope. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, it's it's way lighter. That's movie fun. magic right there, you know. <laughs> uh, we had um, uh, Adam and Jess were over, and Adam was yeah. talking about how he he he, he does gigs where he like uh, guards these like prototype cars that aren't even actually cars; they're just foam, yes, carved like, foam with shells yeah. on. Yeah, and it's nuts that like they can make an entire car out of it, and it looks like a real car. Mm -hmm. That's I crazy. Yeah, I, we should I, make a car. We should That's make a I car. <laughs> <laughs> a felted friend size car. I mean, I want a normal size car, Dino. You know? I want the same mileage. I don't want a little toot toot clown car. I want a, I want a, a fucking car? vehicle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> For anybody that drives a smart car, I'm sorry, but they do look like clown cars to me. Um, ooh, although I've always wanted a Mini Cooper. That's yeah. That's, that's, that's a, about the same. It's a nice car. It's a the nice, nice car. thing about the smart car is like you get two friends and you can just like pick it up and park it. Like you just <laughs> <laughs> I want it over here. <laughs> Who needs to parallel park? You can just lift it into place. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, oh, Zach. Uh, Zach Winston wants to know, uh, uh, Kate. What do you think about Ron Swanson? <laughs> uh, uh, back when I was single, somebody once told me that I was a cuter ron swanson and i said shut your mouth that's not true because ron swanson <laughs> is the best um no i'm i'm a i'm a huge nick offerman fan um and cool. ron swanson's a hilarious character um i i think ron swanson's amazing uh parks and rec was one of my favorite shows mm. and i nick offerman uh in real life is an amazing woodworker and yeah. Um, you know, I, love the, I know more than you. It's like one of my, yeah, that's, that's my whole life. Walking to Home Depot would be like, don't talk to me. <laughs> you, you can't help me if you try. <laughs> <laughs> or, or when I go to the or when I go to the checkout and I have a, a very, very eclectic group of of things in my cart that make no sense, like stuff from plumbing and stuff from lumber and stuff from electric that make no sense together and they're like uh what what are you doing and i'm like oh, man, i'm not using any of these things for their intended purpose so don't worry about it yeah we get that yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. can only see part of the studio but there's a lot in here that's just a lot of random things put together that's right <laughs> uh which is kind of like what i feel about my life um uh, <laughs> a lot of random things put together <laughs> Any creative. I feel like that's any creative. So you're more like life. a succotash if we're talking vegetables. <laughs> I don't even know what a succotash is. You don't know what it... I've only heard it in cartoons. No, it's like, like a corn succotash. Like supper and like... succotash? Y yeah. Yes, yes. No, it's, it's that's a the food. only way I've heard of it. It's like a chopped up little vegetables, usually with corn involved, and then you just like, you know, quickly cook it up and serve it. And You've really never heard of succotash? Like I've radish. heard of it. I didn't know what it was. <sighs> I thought it was an insult. No, I mean... I mean, the word suck is in it, so I just assumed it was like, you suck. <laughs> You're a suffering succotash. I see. I don't know. I grew, I grew up in an Italian household. I don't think I've ever... I don't even know if my mom knows like what succotash an amalgam. is. It's an a what? Amalgam. amalgam. That sounds painful. Vicky says it's corn and lima beans and peppers. Everyone's favorite things. Corn and lima bean and pepper. I, I mean, we... I eat, love lima beans. We do eat lima... Well, we, do, we call them fave in Italian, and that we usually eat them raw. They're the same bean?! 
I, well, they're similar. They're in the same family. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, the, the yeah, they're very similar. Um, but I usually eat them raw. I don't like them cooked. They taste funny. Anyways, Kate's here. Um, <laughs> no, let's talk more about beans. <laughs> we'll save it. We'll save it. All right, save all the right. good stuff. Um, <laughs> so, oh, Alex says that he has a smart car, and it's great because if you don't carry people, it's basically yourself in a car. I, I'm not saying that it's a bad car. I'm just saying it looks like a clown car. No, I'm saying it's a bad car. <laughs> okay, no, there not. you go. It looks like a toy. It looks like a toy. Yeah, I don't know about, enough about yeah. any car, so I have no no leg to stand on. Did they make the Prius's horn sound any better? Because that sounds like a toy to me. <laughs> yeah, it, <laughs> it sounds like a toy. I also, car. I also definitely saw a smart car driving on the freeway once with one of those big like wind up things uh -huh. on the back. Like someone had yes. actually like made a wind up thing and stuck it on the back of their smart car. I was Own like, that it. is hilarious. Oh, that's worth it. I've, oh yeah. I've seen I've seen the paint job where it's the the yellow dome and the red sides, so it looks like uh, like the Playmobil. Oh, like a Fisher Price car. Yeah, a Fisher Price car. Yeah, <laughs> <Cute. Great>. that's <laughs> awesome. That's so good. Yep. <laughs> that's exactly what it, they must have used that as the design premise because it looks exactly like. Oh that. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's it gets a drop off in so back, like, drop off the front. <laughs> to lean into it like that and actually paint your smart car like that is hilarious. It's so good. <laughs> that's oh, I love that. Um, so, how long have you been? Um, a bit to, Segway without a segue. Um, <laughs> how long have you been? How long have you been, have you had the workshop? How long has it been around? Oh gosh, uh, I started it officially. Like it officially had a name in 2017, at the beginning of 2017. But um, in the year and a half prior to that, I was building scenery for um, shows around LA, like in the Fringe Festival, and you know, basically like after graduating college, a lot of my friends had been like. Oh, I'm gonna put up a show. Can you build me some scenery? I have no budget. Um, and I was like, ah, sure, buy the lumber and buy me a tool to build it with. And I, you know, <laughs> sure, I'll build it in my driveway. You know, um, and so I had like <laughs> been doing that for you know a year and a half, and then I was like, okay, you know, why don't I, why don't I like actually start a wood shop type thing? And then it kind of started morphing into more actual woodworking and less building scenery, and that's when it became. Uh, bow and harrow, um, which my uh, my old roommate named because I was doing archery at the time, uh -huh. and, uh, and so that's where the name came from, uh, which I think is hilarious. Um, that's awesome. And and I actually named my dog Kibo, so um, it, that is often shortened to bow or bow dog, because so many people were like, "Well, you're the harrow, so who's the bow?" Uh, and I got really sick of that question, so now my dog is named Bo. <laughs> Shut up, it's a dog! <laughs> I love that. Uh, yeah. uh, Bo and Harrow. Uh, and besides, a yeah. good pun is always great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Always. Yeah. And only about, like, 30% of people go, oh, I get it, you know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, but it's fine, it's whatever. You know, yeah. <laughs> like, I just, I didn't want to be like, you know, Harrow's Woodworks, you know, because that's every, everybody's wood shop is named that. Yeah. yeah. And every dude, every dude with a wood shop is like, bearded woodworks, or, you know, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a dude with a wood shop, you know, so I. Viking I, woodworks. I, I didn't want to be like, hey, look, I'm a chick with a wood shop. I wanted to, like, you know, just. You know, yeah, yeah. Give, I like the give, it a, give it a name that stood on its own. You know, mm -hmm. yeah. so that's Regardless. that's where it came from. Yeah, yeah. I make, love that. You make a lot of different kinds of things, which I think is super cool. Like lots of I different do. types of products yeah. and stuff. So, w w of all of the things, which one is your uh, the most rewarding to make? Oh wow, um, it's I. So it's not that that has a specific product answer, but that's more like something that means something to the customer so oh i i often get a request for because i work with a lot of like woods and materials that are from mm -hmm. you know a historic place or um or a different movie set that's kind of one of my like niche things so like i have wood i have wood from the tree from the end of shawshank redemption and oh. i have I have wood from 
the porch of the house in the Goonies. So do you wear you know, a ski uh, mask when you steal these planks, or...? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, just, it's, it's a lot of treasure hunting to, yeah. to find them, and a lot, of, a lot of asking permission and begging, and, <laughs> um, and, and explaining what I do. Um, but it's not, it's not, it's not no, you so don't much. Understand. It's, I'm gonna make a pen. <laughs> right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a pen with it, it's, I swear. <laughs> And a lot of times it's like, I'll make you one in exchange for you giving me a bunch of free shit. Um, yes. <laughs> like a lot of, you know, um, uh, it's a lot of bartering. Mm -hmm. um, but it's also, you know, so it's not necessarily like that, that there's one specific thing that, that um, you know, that is special. But when, when that hits home for somebody, when somebody's like, oh, that is like my favorite thing of all time. And I get to make them something that's from it. That's really special to me, that's you know, because cool. it's because that's like when it resonates with somebody. That's like that's really really special. Uh -huh. When it resonates with so, so oh cool, yeah, because you know, like, <laughs> ha 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 puns. Uh, but yeah, yeah, no, that's super cool. I, uh, okay, so it's a follow up question right, then: what, what has stuck. been the oh, hardest yeah. item, uh, the uh, the hardest material for you to acquire? Like, what was the one, like, maybe you had Ooh. to jump through the most hoops? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Without, without like, <laughs> without shit talking the source. I just imagine yeah. some people are protective <laughs> yeah, yeah. of their things. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, wow, that's a, that's a really good question. Because some of them, some of them have been, like, fairly straightforward. Um, I'd say I have, I have wood from the, um, from the stage floor of the Grand Old Opry House. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. And that one, that one was a little bit of hoops. Um, <laughs> and, but that, but that was more because I I had been able to secure a couple of pieces easily, but it was getting it was getting enough to like build an inventory that was challenging. Uh, you know, I was able to get like two pieces easily, um, but. Finding somebody who had enough of a collection of it to yeah. that that was then willing to sell that collection, mm. you know. Now it's just an orchestra pit. It's just real big. <laughs> 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 but all the, the whole stage is gone now. <laughs> <laughs> how do you so how, of... <laughs> how no, do you ahead. find the like these sort like do you? Like for the like in the case of the the Grand Ole Opry, like I'm imagining you're talking to other tech people and be like, hey, do you have a piece that you happen to save? Like, like I don't know well, how do you so, find that stuff. So in the case of the Grand Ole Opry, um, they were replacing the stage floor about a decade and a half ago, mm. and they actually sold packaged pieces of the stage floor in the um, in the gift shop. Oh, nice. Oh. Um, so they had taken they had taken the old floor, cut it up. And like shrink wrapped it to a piece of cardboard with a bunch of information on it, um, and then like sold that in the gift shop. Um, and so I was able to find a couple of those pieces for sale on like eBay and some collectors' websites. Oh, wow. um, and then I had I basically had to like track down somebody who had like hundreds of them. Oh, okay. you know, you know what I mean? Because it's like. Two will get me, you know, a couple of pens, mm -hmm. but I I need enough that I can make like dozens, right? You right. know, and because then it's like I can actually build a collection and you know base, base designs off of it. Yeah. Um, and and pretty much all all of the stuff that um that I have from like baseball stadiums or performance venues you know like i have seats from the hollywood bowl like those those are all things that are like they get worn out and they get replaced and then it's like okay well instead of going in a dumpster somebody can step in and say hey i'll take it you know right um right. you know and then it doesn't end up in a landfill somewhere and it gets reused and um you know it's kind of a green initiative and it's also like you know it can go to get repurposed and then you know go to somebody who that you know who's going to care about about the the piece that is made from it you know yeah 
that's so and that's, cool and i'm sure yeah uh, so you have chairs from the hollywood bowl yeah it's it's like bench bench seats yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. that's awesome yeah, that's yeah. So and cool. it's like got the seat numbers like carved into it oh, it's shit. really cool <laughs> yeah that's so cool do you yeah. have um any uh i know you have a lot of stuff that you're you have uh you're in your shop but do you have any uh any of those like famous wood pieces nearby that you could show us or or like a product I... made from it if not you're cool don't worry about it. <laughs> No. <laughs> like, Got if it. I wanted a pen made out of, like, somebody's coffin that I admire, do I buy you a shovel? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I definitely have a line that I have to draw. You, know, <laughs> you yeah. never know unless you ask. What? <laughs> Something made out of, like, out of the gallows dating. that hung. <laughs> oh, shit. <geez. laughs> Jeez. But it'd be cool to like to have like you know like a piece of like a ghost town or something like that like wood oh, where it's yeah, like falling totally. off that yeah. kind of thing super dope yeah like, I, I love that idea yeah. like if you if yeah. you if you stumble into anything Middle Earth related you you let me know yeah <laughs> or like yeah, um, I, I, the I'm just thinking of a ghost town like uh having like gun handles made out of uh out of wood from calico holy shit right that no, cool. yeah. shooting with ghost power what were you saying, Kate? I'm sorry, I cut you off. Oh, I was just saying that, like, yeah, you know, sometimes it is literally like stuff is falling apart from you know a location, and they have to, they literally have to like replace, you know, whatever it is, you know. And there's, I don't know if you are familiar with Fordite, but that's like layers of automotive paint. Oh, um, oh yes, yes, yes. And so, like, I. You know, it's like a jawbreaker when you like slice it open. It's it, really yeah, cool. it's, it's, it's really super pretty. cool. And so it's like I have I have different Fordite pieces from different car manufacturers, but then I also have, um, you know, a a sort of like faux Fordite that's from, uh, Cadillac Ranch. The the huh. cars that are stuck in the sand in Texas, um, huh. because people spray paint those. And then the chunks of paint like just fall off because they're so heavy, and wow. so I have like a big chunk of paint that's like, you know, literally fell off of the car <laughs> that's stuck in the sand, you know. That's so and cool. then like, yeah. and so much of that is like glow in the dark and neon and like you know, and that that stuff oh, wow. like is is so crazy looking, you know. So it's like some of the materials are just so so interesting on their own, and then. You know what do you, what do you do with them besides just you know look yeah. at them on a desk? Yeah. You know <laughs> it's like so turn them into something. Yeah. Speaking of which, yeah. um, uh, Zach wanted to know what what did you make out of the Shawshank Redemption wood and the Goonies wood? Most of the time, I make pens out of them. Um, which are super just cool. because the pieces because the pieces are small. I've also made cufflinks. Um, oh. and, um, let's see, what are, are there, like, small, small accessories are kind of, like, the, the jam mm. with those. Um, and with the Goonies wood, I did make, um, I've made pens for the guys that played both, um, Data and Chunk. In the yeah, Goonies. I saw oh. that, uh, was it Jeff Cohen? Yeah, he, yeah uh, Jeff he Cohen. He posted a picture yeah. of it, too. I was like, oh, that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. Cause I, I made I made a pen with like, you know, a a playing card with like his character on it as the cap of the pen. Yeah. And then I got an email from him the next day that was like, "Can I buy that?" And I was like, <laughs> "No, can I make you one?" <laughs> <laughs> so, That's so cool. Got to actually, like meet him and he signed some stuff for me and like. You know, oh wow! Cool. Oh, that's yeah. Awesome. And then and then he's like he's like still best friends with the guy who um who played uh data um Kiquan, who was also in like um uh, uh indiana Double jones and, yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah um and so then i made one for him for his birthday as like a gift from jeff oh um, cool so yeah that's awesome yeah the, if for those yeah. of you uh we'll, we'll drop the the instagram too and the we dropped the website already but if you want to check out the her instagram as well the the pens are on there so you could see the ones that are made out of oh, the, yeah. different, the different famous woods um they're really cool uh and we Ooh. cucumbers jamming out what is what is your your like what's your holy grail of of wood Ooh. like what's the one thing that you want want and you just maybe can't have it or or just don't have access to it yet 
Um, one of the big ones is I would love wood from the Old North Church in Boston. Um, like the one if one if by land, two if by sea. Yeah. Um, that would be really dope. Uh, that's definitely one because I I have wood from Independence Hall in Philadelphia. Mm. So, so I think the Old North Church would kind of complete the like historic collection for me. Um, cause Independence Hall is in like my personal collection. That's mm. like not, not for sale, you know, <laughs> um, cause, cause I have one piece of it. So it's like, that one's for me. Yeah, um, of <laughs> and if I get more then I'll, then I'll make one for sale. But, um, but yeah, old North church would be one of my, one of my grail pieces oh, for sure. Cool. Um, yeah. Uh, what are the, or the, the ones from that cheers? That would be the one. Make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that's like in a Hollywood museum somewhere. Like yeah. I, I would never, I would never ever cut into it. But if right. it broke, I would be He's, all. Oops! It. That's what you need. You need a man on the inside with a forklift. This, we're gonna make this happen for you, Kate. This, we'll figure it out. It's gonna be good. We'll make it work. We do some shady shit. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but uh, what about? Um, okay. So you you make pens. What uh? What yeah. other what other products? Um, it's, did it start with pens? Is that the first thing you did? No, no. I actually started with like more bigger furniture. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm, just, I'm boogieing. The music's really nice. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uh, cucumber has a very short attention span. It's uh, okay. <laughs> all of me is short. It's fine. That's fair. <laughs> I mean, so, I liked it. I just didn't yeah. understand it. <laughs> no, it's good. Nobody does. No. We stopped trying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm exhausting. <laughs> um, so you start. What did you, I'm sorry. Go back to the question. What did you did it start with pens? Um, uh, I started out by building bigger furniture. I was living oh. um, at a friend at a friend's place, and she was kind enough to let me use her two car garage to. Um, to build out of and um so i had a lot more space and i i was building you know tables and wine cabinets and you know some some bigger pieces and then when we moved into our current place um now i have like a third of the space that i had Ooh. and so my projects shrank considerably <laughs> um and I was always interested in turning. Um, you know, I learned how to turn in college. You know, to you know, fix table legs for scenery and you know things like that. And so um, I started turning bowls and things like that. And then um, and then I got into pens and, and other small items. And, and I've recently gotten into spheres, um, oh, yes. which have been really oh, fun. Show us, show uh, us the spheres. Yeah, do you want to see the spheres? Yeah. Yes. This is like, like you know that like scorpion you could always get as a necklace when you were a kid. It's like that, but good. This yeah. is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Can you so so this is a really cool piece. Uh, can you like just walk us through the uh, like you know sky view like how do you make something like that like the basics you don't have to go into too much detail but like that's yeah, awesome um, yeah i actually let me grab one of the ones that's like in progress so i can show Ooh. you what it looks like to start yeah this Corey, is like a Corey pokemon in a bag until it can't breathe <laughs> i live it love oh, need <laughs> so this is the charmander one that i have in progress nice you're gonna make Put a little box for him and fill it with resin okay. basically yeah, essentially. So I bought the figure from Target, and I have this, you know, amazing piece of wood burl that I just had. <laughs> and I actually, so with Pikachu, I painted the top with some color shifting um, oh. resin. Oh, yeah. I don't know if you can see yeah, that. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, Question. and so the Pikachu. Yeah. What is what is wood burl? I am a dummy. You see, oh. I don't understand. Okay, so so this is a good piece. So this is actually the base for Pikachu. So it like sits, you know, oh. like that. Yeah. But this is just a small slice of burl, and a burl is a piece. Um, uh, it's like part of a tree that kind of grows, kind of like a tumor almost. Yeah. 
where uh, instead of the wood uh, growing out, it kind of grows over top of itself. Um, and it creates these like amazing, um, like little knobby, gnarly things. Cool. Um, I've seen it. So, I never know it had a name. Thank you. It's like the Damascus yeah. steel of woods. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And so, um, so with Pikachu, this one had a lot of like kind of cracks in the top that I filled with the gold to kind of look electrified almost. Ooh. Um, the idea with these is for it to look like the interior of a Pokeball. That was kind of like the. Oh, oh that's cool. Um, yeah, and so Pikachu kind of looks like he's, you know, electrifying the ground a little mm. bit. Yeah. Um, really and then with Charmander, what I did was I painted the top of it with um, a color shift that shifts from uh, red to gold. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see it on camera, but a little it, bit. Um, yeah, so it's like a little magma. So it's evil. like, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of, and I also torched it first. So I actually like before I put Charmander I on, I actually I burned the whole top of the surface with a torch. Wow. And then I and then I painted it with the um, with the uh, red gold color shift, and so it's actually like it's actually char. And then, and then the color shift. Amanda. So the ice. Yes. Yes. Right. Yes. <laughs> I'm upset because I thought of that and I chose not to say it. <laughs> I, I never choose not to say it. That's fair. <laughs> I was like, no, that's dumb. And then, he, <laughs> and then Cucumber did it anyway. That's how I do. <laughs> that's so cool. So then, so like what, what yeah. Ryan was saying, you like, do you put it and make like a, a square out of it with the resin and then. Yeah. Um, yeah, so so the next step here is to build like a, a mold um, with like cardboard and packing tape, mm. um, and then pour. I actually I actually have one made out of HDPE, but that's how you would do it if you don't like have like Hi, them guy question. What the hell is H? Whatever you said. <laughs> high density like, something. High density polyethylene, which uh, is like really slippery. That. Oh, yes, please go on. Really, really slippery plastic. Okay, cool. <laughs> Got it. So, so, like, I have, like, an actual proper mold for this, but if you didn't, you would use, like, yeah. cardboard and packing tape. I see, I see people make uh, Legos, too, like, make Lego molds these yeah. days, which I think is, is clever oh, wow. if you have them laying around. Yeah, yeah, for sure, because they're slick, mm -hmm. um, you know, and, and you know, you're going to get nice straight lines with them. So. Oh, yeah, um, that's true. So yeah, the next step would be to like, you know, put it in something with walls and then pour resin in the top. Put I, I use a pressure pot to eliminate bubbles. Mm. Um, so it, it'll cure under pressure so that it doesn't have any bubbles in it. And then I'll turn it on the lathe until it's a sphere. Um, and hopefully I won't break it in that process. And That's then the part that like, my brain cannot understand. Like at a certain point, does it go on like a suction cup or something? Like how do you get it round? Yeah, so so you basically like once once it's a square, mm -hmm. then you turn it into a cylinder. Right, okay. And I then follow, follow. once it's a cylinder, you kind of take the ends and you taper them until it's like kind of spherical but with nubbins on the end. <laughs> so like okay. the, you know so the points the points yeah. are holding something still yeah and then i have these two like kind of cup shaped pieces and i'll take it off and i'll rotate it and the cups will hold it Got and it. then i'll turn the nubs off listening to that was like you know it's like that you know, learned how to draw an owl make a couple lines and then there's your fucking owl like that's what that explanation felt like to me it's like i know you know what you're talking about but i'm like magic <laughs> an owl is just Various shapes put together. It's like a triangle and a circle and an oval, and then you add a few lines, and that's it. You're done. And then who <laughs> It's much easier to show than explain. Oh yeah, I'm sure, yeah. but I'm not gonna expect you to do that. Um, no. Uh, although we've whole, been here for hours. That'd be cool to have like an episode where we show a process. Of, that'd be cool. Yeah. Oh, actually, then that's a couple I, of questions I have now. By the, by the time I'm done, I'm covered in resin and. Like, I look like the abominable snowman. Like, I was just like, absolutely covered in it. That's Boy, awesome. awesome. How, how long does it take you to make a pen, and how long does it take you to make a one of those spheres? I imagine the, the spheres um, take a while, because you got to wait for resin to cure and yeah. all that, too. Yeah. Well, I mean, a pen, 
the pens I've done so many of at this point that I am I'm very fast at it now. Um, so I could probably make a pen in like an hour. Wow. Um, <laughs> probably less depending on the type of pen. Um, you know, if it's if it's a pen that has like you know just just one piece, it's less. And then if it's got like a cap and a body, then it's a little more. Mm -hmm. um, and then the spheres take me a couple hours, probably three or four. Um, and that's just and the turning portion, right? The that's just attention. the turning part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the the resin itself takes um, you know a couple hours to cure, and the uh, you know the actual painting painting the pieces and and doing all that work is you know another yeah. however long yeah. depending on how how happy i am with my first attempt at it <laughs> that's not definitely not my forte you know um <laughs> the squirtle one i'm working on is my third attempt at squirtle um oh, no. because i've been because i've been unhappy with my first two attempts so sorry. <laughs> we'll, we'll see it's okay so are there, i'm trying to make there... it look like he's surfing so it's hard oh, oh cool. that's I mean, cool I'll, I'll grab him he, he looks really cool i just I'm happy. I'm finally happy with him. He's a little dusty because I kind of put him away for a while. But oh wow! Whoa! Yeah. So what is that that he's standing on then? So uh, this is actually a piece. I took a piece of wood that kind of looked like waves and I actually cast it in resin. Oh! Um, in my, like blue in resin. Blue and, yeah, blue and white. Oh, um, that's cool. Resin. Mm. And then I actually like painted the top to kind of look like the crests of waves. Yeah, no, I can see that. That's awesome. But this is this is actually like the natural shape of a piece of wood that I found. That's really cool. Hmm. And I was like, that looks like waves. I'm totally gonna use that for all my water Pokemon. <laughs> yes. but, but that's why that's why I cast it. Like I cast it in silicone and then I cast it in resin. Um, oh man. Because I was like that that's screaming to be for the water Pokemon. Yeah, <laughs> That's you know, so cool. but, but it's taken me a few attempts. I love the poses that they have. They're like yeah. action poses, yeah. you know. Cute. It's not just yeah. like, oh, I'm a cute Pikachu. It's like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking get it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like, I like well, in the show. I always loved when Pikachu got like, like in battle mode and he's like, ain't like, oh getting yeah, all intense. I love that. Yeah, he's starting Ash's heart. Oh, that's good oh. stuff. Oh man, that show. Yeah. I miss Pokemon. Anyways, um, uh, I was going to say something. Oh, you know what? We have, um, we have, uh, we have other things. So we have th two things technically to learn about you. Oh, so let's right. get into it. What okay. of these is bullshit? <gasps> what? Did it always do that turn thing? Yeah. Oh, I don't know why I never saw that before. Anyways, uh, <laughs> one of these is bullshit. Is our version of two truths and a lie, and um, it's exactly like two truths and a lie. We just call it something else. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I have two truths and a lie from Kate. So, Kate, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna I'll read all three. Don't tell us which one is the truth, the lie, and then the yeah. chat. Uh, we will we will uh, we'll turn it to you. We'll put a straw poll in the chat, and you can vote on which one you think is the lie. And then we'll go through the truths one by one until we find out what the lie is. All right. Let's see. Here we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. There it is. Nope. I lied. There it is. <clears throat> okay. Kate is a published po poet. Kate has played on an all-star softball team. Hmm. And Kate lived in the United Arab Emirates for six months. Hmm. Published poet, all-star softball team, softball team, lived in the United Arab Emirates for six months. Which one of those... Is a lie. I don't know. I feel you. like I, I feel know. like the skill set could take you basically anywhere in the world. So that one doesn't seem like way out of left field for me. So maybe, 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 maybe it's the poet. But she's also an artist. Son of a bitch. The, the poll is in the chat as well. Yes, the poll oh, is in boy. the chat. So if you want to click that and vote, uh, Vicky from Volume thinks that the published poet is a lie. I um, I I don't know. I know you enough that I have an idea, but I also kn don't know you enough that I don't know for sure. <laughs> I'm gonna say poet. I'm gonna. Oh God, the UAE thing sounds familiar. 
It sounds familiar, so I think that's true. Yeah, I believe that with all of that woodworking, you know how to use a bat, so that's the only mm. reason I'm sticking with softballs. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever made a bat? I, I have not made a... Well, oh. I've attempted to make a bat. You, you oh. should get, like, a bunch of planks of the fence from the sand lot and make a bat out of it. Ooh. And that uh, would... There you go. The, there you go. The, the sand lot fence is not there anymore. I tried. Oh. I have Dude. clay from the field, but I don't have oh, any wood. That's yeah, cool. That's what, so what are you going to do with the clay? I... I have a couple pieces where it's like um, the clay is embedded on like uh, an image of like the Sandlot kids, you uh, know, where they're all look the one where they're all like kind of looking in a circle, and then it's the clay in the middle. Oh, that's um, cool. And then that's cast in resin. Oh, okay. Sick. That's, that's, awesome. that's the kind of stuff that you can do when like the piece is way too small to make a full pen out of, um, mm -hmm. or it's not a material that can be like turned like clay. Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess you could make it out of clay if you had enough of it, but then it's like, I don't know if it's structurally in integral? Integ I don't know about the structural integrity. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, um, um, that's so cool, though. Uh, yeah. Looks like we, we're stuck in a tie here. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna cast my vote for a poet also. You made so they're voting on which one they think is bullshit? Is yes. That how yes. this works? Yeah. So, oh, okay. so then it. with my vote and Cucumber's vote, I guess that would push Publish Poet over the top. So the chat thinks that Publish Poet is a lie, and we think that Publish Poet is a lie. Uh, although I'm doubting myself now that I'm thinking about it more. Mm. Um, but I'm going <laughs> to go with it, because fuck it. Uh, so start with one of your truths. What, which one, which, what is one of the truths? I lived in the United Arab Emirates for... Okay, I yeah. wait, okay. sweet. And what, what was that for? I opened Warner Brothers World there. Oh, that's, um, right. that's the one with the crazy so, cool like Joker ride or whatever, right? Like Star yes. and shit. That looks so good. Yeah. So yes, I was the technical director. One of one of four technical directors. For so, I don't want to say I was the technical director. There was four of us. You heard it here, oh, quote it. <laughs> yeah, the other three will be like, uh, come Excuse on. Excuse me. Um, yeah, <laughs> no, please. Um, yes, I was one of four technical directors that opened Warner Brothers World in Abu Dhabi, and That's it was an amazing experience. Um, it was also balls hot and <laughs> awful, <laughs> um, but the entire park is inside and air conditioned, and what? so that part was really what? cool. Um, yeah. That's so yeah, cool. because it gets really fucking hot there, you know? <laughs> like, it's, it's like Vegas. Like... You just stay within the buildings, you know? It's... That's fair. Yeah, so. it's, yeah. Um, but the park is amazing. And if for any reason you are in that part of the world, you should definitely go. Like, don't go there for that. But if you're there, definitely go. Um, okay. Because it's super, super cool. That sounds awesome. I haven't even heard of it. Yeah. Like, or I've heard of it. I know oh, it's that, but... cool. They, they Dude, spent would... money. It looks dope. Oh yeah, they did. You would you would love it too. Like the the lands are all um, half of it is like Metropolis and Gotham, and the other half is like uh, Looney Tunes and Flintstones and Tom and Jerry and Scooby Doo and like oh, it's sweet. just it's so it's so fun it's so so fun. Okay, Warner Brothers World. Yeah. yeah. All right, got it. Definitely check it out. I it's definitely pretty will. badass. <laughs> All right, next truth. So this is this is the one where I tell you. Yeah, tell us that the truth you're and we'll figure out the lie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I am a published poet. Oh, damn it! Dang it! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, though. Yes. I, I, as soon as I said it, I was like, I feel like I'm going to be wrong. I know. I, I feel like it. That that's How, how did that happen? Um, throughout uh, grade school and high school, they, um, you know, back when they make you write poetry for, like, school assignments, um, my teachers basically figured out that I was good at it um and started saying like hey you should you should pursue actually writing poetry because you're good at it um and then they uh they were encouraging me do, to do that and then um through that they helped me find um a couple of uh 
what's it called? Um, like statewide poetry competitions um, that I was then able to submit uh, my poetry into, and then I was published in the uh, the like competition books and and the, the like best best of New Jersey um, uh, competition books. That's so cool. Yeah. Um, what was your favorite poem that you wrote? Oh God, it's been so long <laughs> since I've actually been published. Um, Do you remember the? I don't know that I could. Uh, I wrote one poem about music that I nice. that I remember being particularly cool. I've always loved music, but I've never had any musical talent. Mm. Um, my sister is a very, very talented musician, and she's the one that played on the all-star softball team. Oh! Um, so, <laughs> That's where I came from. Um, yeah. Uh, but my sister uh, ha- is an incredibly talented musician, um, and I've always, like, really loved music, and I... Um, I especially uh, connect to musical lyrics, I think also because of the poetry thing. Um, mm, yeah. And so I, I would write about music a lot, but I have no like musical talent. So, oh, so that's, that's, cool. that's, that's probably that's probably what it are you Are you a fan like. of other poets? Do you have like a favorite poet that people might not know uh, about that they should check out? Yeah. Um, r- right now, one of my favorites is uh, Rudy. Um, I'm gonna forget his last name, but he he writes a lot for Button Poetry, um, and I know his first name is Rudy, and he's really really good. Um, and then Javon Johnson is amazing. Um, he was one of my professors at USC. Okay. Oh, cool. um, and he he does some amazing poetry. And then of course, like Pablo Neruda is awesome and. Um, you know, like, I, you know, Maya Angelou is amazing. Uh-huh. And so. That's awesome. I, yeah. uh, w- a few years Oh, and ago. Robert, Robert Frost, like shout out Robert Frost. Hell yeah, Robert <laughs> Frost. Yeah. Like Robert Frost. I That's also one like, I know, and Maya Angelou. And yeah, I also too. like Robbie Burns. Did, did like, didn't he turn like, into like a, a, a snowman or something? What? Isn't there a movie about it? <laughs> What? There's a movie called Robert Frost where he turns into a snowman or something. That's Jack Frost. It's Jack Frost. It's gotcha. Jack Frost. <laughs> it's his brother, okay? Also, <laughs> just like Man. nerdy side note, um, there's an there's like a tree nursery where you can actually buy saplings that come from the birches from Robert Frost's <laughs> estate. Whose woods these are, I think I know. I'll just take this one home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's awesome. So was, like, is that not the coolest thing of all time? That's I think awesome. that's awesome. That's I'm a like, solid I souvenir. Want... I know, right? And if they're like 60 bucks. I was like, I want a Robert Frost birch tree, please. <laughs> I would like make my life complete. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> And then you could like use the wood eventually to I know. make stuff. I thought I thought all about this. Man, not... What's that? Did I just do Robert Frost or did I do the other Robert? Fuck if I know. Okie dokie. <laughs> I, <don't know. laughs> I also used to read a lot of Robert Louis Stevenson, and I don't. And I sometimes get people's confused because like I like poetry, but I never know like where to find it because you go to the section and it's just like floor to ceiling here's some poetry I'm like, i don't know what's good and i don't have the patience to find out someone mm. just hand me something there's no like cat it's not like uh, like when you go to like fiction there's not like it's not like romance adventure it's just like oh yeah poetry. No. yeah <laughs> right and you yeah. just hope that you pick a good one um oh yeah there was a a slam poet i was into for a while who like won Did the top hurt? award yeah um Anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, his name is uh, Anis Mojani, and he like ended up. He's amazing. He's so good. He's so good. <laughs> good. I'm glad you know. <laughs> Anybody who yes, doesn't know Anis I Mojani, do know him. Uh, it, it, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna type it in the thing. Anis Mojani is really, yeah. really cool. Uh, his videos are excellent. Uh... Also, Rudy's last Rudy's last name is Francisco. I just remembered. It's Rudy Francisco. Rudy Francisco. Also, Rudy thank Francisco. you, Robert. It was it was bothering me. Okay. Yeah, hey, somebody right. hacked somebody's account. Um, I'm maybe. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna buy a bunch of shit. Not you? Uh, could you imagine Dino on Morkborg? Morkborg. Morkborg. Um, I don't know. Can you? I can imagine a lot of things. Ah. Anything is imaginable if you try. 
how sad is that that that's the goals? Not anything is doable or achievable. Anything is imaginable. imaginable. <laughs> I, I believe it's in myself great. enough to imagine that something is possible. I can picture myself <laughs> as anything I want to be. Doing it is another issue. Uh, <laughs> speaking of doing, um, that sounds weird. We're going to introduce Kate to our very, very knowledgeable friend, <gasps> Dr. Know-it-all. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, no, Ryan, I'm going to give you an option here. This is up to you. You can either host Dr. Know-it-all or be Dr. Know-it-all. Oh, shit. I'll host. Okay, cool. Then I'll oh, hop in. Shit. I was right. going to say, we're going to make this work. All right. All right. So, <clears throat> Dr. Know-it-all. questions in the chat. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, it's Google, shut up. Hey, Google. No, don't say it loud. <laughs> hey, Google. Shut up. <laughs> hey, Google, play music. <laughs> No, no, nah. don't do it. Hey, Google, stop. <laughs> <laughs> don't want to mute it. didn't even strong. recognize your voice because it's too high. <laughs> um, so, uh, Dr. Know-it-all is your wonderful multi-headed friend. Uh, Ryan, would you like to tell us more? Yes. <laughs> uh, give me one second. Sorry. Here, I'll do it. Uh, Dr. <laughs> know-it-all is our wonderful multi-headed friend uh, and expert of all yes. things. Uh, Dr. Know-it-all is here to answer your questions. Uh, and advice on anything you have, anything you want. So, um, uh, Connie, Google can't see your typing. You, you have to say it out loud. Uh, <laughs> anyways, um, uh, so uh, well, it is here to answer all your questions. Any advice? So throw them in the chat. Anything you want to know from Doctor Know It All? Let us know today. Doctor Know It All's heads looks like Kate. Yeah. Let's go this way. Kate, me, yeah. mm -hmm. and then you cucumber, know. and then back to Kate. Yep. Yeah. And and Doctor Know It All will answer your questions one head at a time. One word at a time. Oh, one word at a time until an answer has been complete. That's the non of recognition from Kate. I did not explain this game beforehand. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> um, I love that. There's like a, what is it? Oh, oh, oh I get it. Okay, got it, got it. <laughs> so we'll answer one word at a time, one head at a time until an answer is complete. Dr. Nodal will uh, give you part of the question in the answer and also bow at the end to, know, to, to denote that it is complete. Uh, and today, Ryan is going to host Dr. Know-It-All, and I am going to fail miserably. Woo! Yay! Yay! So we'll go in that order. Kate, me, Cucumber, back to Kate. Mm -hmm. Sweet. All right, and we have one first question from Robert Fisher in the chat. Dr. Know-It-All, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck? So I start? Yeah. Right. <laughs> You're good. A. Woodchuck. Wood. Chuck. As many woods as <laughs> he could unless faced with serious adversity. You can end it there if you want. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Yeah, if it's your turn and you think that's the end, you can just battle. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, that's, that sounded good. That yeah. sounded like a place to end it. Yeah, yeah that was bad, actually pretty bad. great. Good job, guys. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. Oh, so you know me. what? We don't have Ryan or Chunk doing this. Maybe that's why. Ooh. I'm just kidding, Ryan. Ooh. I'm not kidding, Chunk. Uh, <laughs> anyways. Right. Uh, we do have another question let's from do it. the Grey Knight. Dr. Nodal, what makes a decent and fair DM or GM? Are you a Dungeon Dra Dozens Dragons person, Kate? I'm not. I don't know what that is. Dungeon that Master is... or Game Master? Yeah, they're the people who run the game, a game of D&D. &D or okay. other tabletop Copy. RPGs. I, yeah. <laughs> all right. I'll, I'll figure it out. Yeah, you can. Um, it's fine. Dr. know knows everything. <laughs> we don't have to be accurate. We just have to answer a question with yep. words. <laughs> okay. The best GM is someone kind and open <laughs> to all sorts of situations including combat <laughs> I guess we'll end it. Sorry. <laughs> 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 so 
normally the bow is a is a a, 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 a painful notion. You're like, oh god, please let it end. So you're fine. That, okay. you're, that's that's okay, one great. of the good bows. Cool. Yeah. That's one of the good bows. You're you're doing great. Okay. <laughs> good. Nice. All right, we have another question from Dan in the chat. Doctor Know It All, what is the hardest wood to cut through? Um, the hardest wood to cut through is probably obviously iron mixed <laughs> with. Oh. You say iron? I did iron. say iron. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I say mixed. iron wood, yeah. So iron mixed with walnut. Oh. Uh because wall iron will sweat nitroglycerin <laughs> all over the blade. Then you will smear explosives throughout your workshop. <laughs> mm. <Yep. laughs> there we go. <laughs> I wanted a crazier answer. That worked out. <laughs> nice. Should we do one more and then uh, call it a... Sounds yeah. good to me. Sounds good. All right. We have a question from Zach Winston in the chat. Dr. Know-it-all. What happens when you cross cucumber? <laughs> when you cross cucumber... You'll be quite perturbed because <laughs> you'll find that he always knows the secret weaknesses of your self <laughs> yay you don't yay. know it all for your wonderful answers thank you ryan <laughs> yay. that was dr know it all <laughs> Oh, Sorry, my God. I had a bit of a rough start there, guys. No, you, trust me. This was a good way. This was a good Doctor Know It All. Mm -hmm. Hey, Vicky, okay, thank you cool. for those amps. Thank you very much. Oh, thanks for the amps, Vicky. Um, but uh, but yeah, but Kate, uh, thank you so much for being with us with us today. Um, oh yes. So uh, say go ahead and say out loud where everybody can find your work and where to follow you and do such stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, on Facebook, we're at Bow and Harrow. On Instagram, we're at Bow and Harrow Workshop. Um, our website is bowandharrow.com. And next weekend, I will be at the La Habra Citrus Fair as a vendor. So come cool. check it out and say hi. Um, there's rides and like animal blue ribbon stuff. What? It's like a full on like fair. Um, it sounds like it's going to be super fun. On Sunday, there's like a car show, which sounds super dope. I'm um, like really excited about the car show because I think that's going to be really, really cool. Um, when is this? Uh, it's June 25th, 26th, and 27th. Cool. Um, okay. Yeah, the, fr the Friday, it's like 5 to 11. And then Saturday and Sunday, it's like noon to 11 or something like that. And then the car show okay. is Sunday morning, okay. like 9 a.m. to noon or something. That's awesome. Um, Sweet. Okay. Yeah, the La Habra so Citrus again. Fair. Yeah, La it's like Citrus full, full-on Carnival County Fair type deal. Um, oh, looks like a ton of fun games, food, rides, like the whole bit. Um, oh man. And oh, man. yeah, looks it looks like it's going to be a super fun time, and my whole family's going to be there helping me run the booth. Um, nice. So oh, it's going to be great. Come say hi, and yeah. Yay. Yeah. Are you there all weekend? It's my or? birthday weekend, so birthday. like, yeah. So, yay! Uh, so, you, are, you, are you there all weekend then? 
Yeah, yeah, we'll okay, be there Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Sweet. Yeah. I'll, we'll have to come by. Awesome. Yay. Yeah. Um, uh, that's so cool. Follow, follow the socials. We have posted them in the chat. Please uh, support uh, yeah. Kate however you can, even if it's just liking and, and stuff, doing whatever you can, yeah. and sharing the word. Yeah. Um, a, a, share, a share goes a long way. So. Yes. If you see something cool that, that Kate posts on a story and you share it with your friends, that's exposure. That's great. Help her out. Help us out. Uh, Grey Knight says, Mas Dino, por favor. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> this is enjoying all that. I know there's not much more to me, okay? I'm a small man, too. Yeah, I don't know. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> it's hard out here for a shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> No! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh god! Oh fuck! Um, oh, now I gotta god. use that shit. Uh, for you. Oh my god! <laughs> Dan in the chat. Um, all of our cutting boards right now are out of stock because we're trying to keep them for the citrus fair. Oh. Uh, oh. Um. <laughs> Uh, Vicky, it's Bo and Harrow uh, with an H, like Kate's last name. Yes, Bo and so Harrow. That's for the volume chat. They, um, they don't have the links. So, so we do we do have cutting boards, um, and we do a lot of custom orders. So if you do want something that you don't see, just like email me or hit me up on Facebook or something. They they do exist. I promise. Cool. Yay. Uh, Kate, thank you. It's so much so much fun to see you again. Uh, it's been a long time. Yeah, you too, buddy. Yeah. Uh, support Kate. Uh, show her some love. Uh, and uh, show us some love too while you're at it. If you think our yes. stream is worth a dollar of your time, at least a dollar. Uh, please, yeah, please consider joining our Patreon. It's a great way to support us. And uh, at the tiers three and above, you can get yourself a fancy, fancy schmancy pin like this one right here on my sweater. Uh, it's our Perception Studio enamel pin with all the sparkles. Uh, and at every three consecutive months, you also earn yourself another pin. Uh, but we also have some behind the scenes content, some uh, exclusive talkback content, and uh, we're looking to add some more stuff at some point soon. Um, but mostly, it, it helps us keep the lights on, pay the rent to all that good stuff so we really appreciate it so thank you to all these fabulous people like our patreon producers our associate producers felted friends and family and you know what i'm waiting for i'm oh, just I know stalling exactly for it for. See, <laughs> i'd like to there. stall and really just you know, just fill take time, time with you until know, the, the much awaited because dick sword everybody dick sword <laughs> there he is uh and uh cool yeah so thank you ever, thank you so much everybody and uh tune in tonight at 7 30 p.m we're gonna be playing some among us with our friends from in quest of geek it's just yeah. a big old open switch time it's gonna be a fun it's gonna be fun so yeah come, join us uh, tonight us. and then come back tomorrow for um uh 7 30 p.m for uh, mork bork mork bork on Mork-Bork. twitch on Twitch, yes. uh, we're still pushing for, for a partner, so tell your yes. friends, butts and seats. Yes. Um, oh, uh, and for tonight, uh, it's going to be on Inquest of Geeks Twitch, and I believe it's going to be on our YouTube, if I have that correct. Ah. <laughs> All right, well, we'll find out. We'll figure, we'll figure it out. out. Look, you'll, you, those, f- follow us on Discord, follow, uh, subscribe to our YouTube, or uh, follow us on um, Twitch and our Instagram, uh, and, and you'll have all that information. Yes, That's make sure you hit the bells. Things. Hit the bells on the YouTube things. Um, yeah, guys, thank you so much. We'll see you next week. Next week, uh, for those of you that are Ska fans, because I am absolutely a Ska fan. <gasps> oh, I thought you said Ska fans. Ska my, my mistake. Fan. My mistake. <laughs> Ska fan. Oh. For those of you that grew up in the 90s. Um, uh, like me. I never grew up. I was there, though. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> we have the trumpet player from Real Big Fish, Scott Klopfenstein, going to be on our show next week. So if you want to tune in, I'm really excited. Uh, he's a, fe- a fellow Twitch streamer. He's got a good following as well. So uh, come back next week. Uh, Kate, you're more than welcome to come watch if you like. Uh, <laughs> you're really excited. Cool. Yeah. Because <laughs> otherwise we wouldn't let you. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, no, I'm no longer invited. <laughs> Once you're on the show, that's it. You gotta leave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so make sure you come back. Uh, tell your friends about it if you want. Uh, if you want to, uh, if you have any friends that are into ska too. Um, uh, but uh, he's a great guy. Uh, Kate is is wonderful as well. I'm so happy you're here. I like sharing the screen with people that I think are fantastic. And so far, they've all been wonderful. So uh, except um, Brian. Um, mm. But that's another story. Anyways, uh, that- hi Brian. Um, <laughs> He's been working out. You don't want to fuck with Brian that's anymore. True. He has been working. He out. got swole. <laughs> he did. He did. Like fuck. in a matter of two days. Oh no. Okay, never mind. Brian, you're great. Don't tell. Don't yeah. listen. Anyways, thanks again, everybody. Come back Bye. next week. Follow us and have Goodbye. a wonderful day. Bye. Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.